Thank you for watching this video from InSource Productions. We will cover the essentials of Orchestra Graphics, including building a simple example. You've heard it a thousand times, right? There's an app for that. The app development paradigm has revolutionized application development with the delivery of lightweight mobile applications that are easy to get and easy to update. The Orchestra Graphic Library brings the same functionality to plant floor application development. It enables you to produce intelligent, reusable applets that are globally available to multiple HMI applications. Orchestra Graphics are built on a platform with a set of common core services for data connectivity, alarming, and extensibility through .NET functions. Stay tuned and I'll teach you how to build one and show you the powerful change propagation functionality. Orchestra Graphics have three primary components. First, there are the data attributes that can have local or global scope and can be tied to in-touch tags or object attributes. They also have a layer of logic as defined by the standard Wonderware QuickScript language and fully supports the Microsoft.NET library. Finally, there are the visual elements, which are vector-based and have animations that are driven by the values of the custom attributes. Regarding usage and maintenance, Graphic symbols are embedded into InTouch HMI windows or other orchestra graphics. The symbol attributes can then be tied to data sources through InTouch tags or object attributes. Changes to the base symbol will propagate to the instances in your InTouch applications. So let's build a simple example that takes an analog input we will call a temperature that we want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius and display those values. Let's create a simple Orchestra Graphic example here. Here in Windowmaker, we see the Orchestra Graphics toolbox, and we see we have a symbol that we've already started here for the sake of time. But we'll start by creating our data attributes, then we'll do our scripting, and then we'll finish our graphics. So first are the custom properties. We'll need two of those for this, for this particular symbol. First is our degrees Fahrenheit, which needs to be a floating point data type and we'll also create one for degrees Celsius which will also be a floating point. That's all we need for data at this point. Next we'll create our custom script. We'll create a new custom script here. The expression for this script is going to be the degrees Fahrenheit data type. Anytime that that attribute changes, we want to execute the script that does a standard conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now we'll change our graphical elements here. This standard orchestra symbol, we want to change its PV to display the Fahrenheit. And we'll also change the type of symbol this is from a flow to a temperature. And we'll do the same thing for the degree Celsius. Change our PV to our degree C attribute and change its type. So now we'll save and close this symbol. Now here in Windowmaker, we'll drop that symbol onto the screen. And now we'll tie the attributes that we created to InTouch tags that we have predefined here in this InTouch application, again for the sake of time. We'll also add an orchestra graphic here, a slider, so that we can simulate the degrees Fahrenheit changing. So we'll change the value of this slider again to our InTouch tag 4 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's all we really need to do in order to test this out. Go to Runtime, and as we change our Fahrenheit temperature, we see that our Celsius temperature is changing as well, but we want to make sure that we're getting the right data, that the conversion formula is correct, We'll do a verification of that, and we see that we're pretty close. So now we want to look at the change propagation features of orchestra symbols. To do that, we'll make a couple of duplications of this object. 
here and they could be in different in touch windows if you like. We'll edit the symbol and we'll make a small change to this symbol. This will be just a graphical element that we can easily see. It could be anything about the symbol that you want to change like scripting and so forth. We'll make that change and we'll go ahead to runtime and we see that those changes were propagated to all the instances of that orchestra symbol. So that concludes this brief demonstration of how to create an orchestra graphic. Now that you know the basics of orchestra graphics, you can get started in the application server environment. And if you want detailed training on orchestra graphics and other application development techniques, you should take this in-source training course. If you're using InTouch standalone, you can use the orchestra graphics library in Windowmaker beginning with the release of the 2014 R2 version. This training course covers InTouch development functions, including the usage of orchestra graphics in a standalone architecture. You can see our training schedule and register here on the insource.solutions website. Thank you for watching this InSource video. You can find out more about InSource offerings at insource.solutions, and you can find helpful articles, tech notes, and more videos like this one on the InSource Knowledge Center. Just go to insource.solutions or search for InSource Knowledge Center. If you would like to download the orchestra graphic sample you saw here, you will see it as an attachment to this Knowledge Center article. You can also search for the keyword anatomy on the Knowledge Center.